hello guys and welcome back to the channel now guys we knew this was coming and it has because every time of course that america sneezes uh, everywhere else in the world and especially the european space catches a cold so america sneezed with a visa ban on nigeria and this now is the europeans catching a cold so guys i bring you this we may impose strict visa rules on Nigeria if, and then dot, 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 and this is a headline attributed to the European Union. So that's the headline. Again, we may impose strict visa rules on Nigeria if, and this is a, a headline uh, being accredited to the European Union. So now let's now find out exactly what is going on here. The European Union may impose restrictive visa rules on Nigeria if the country fails to play its part in the readmission of its citizens living illegally in the European Union. This is a quote that was accredited to a Virginia Batu Herrickson, European spokesperson for foreign affairs and security policy, as saying, though the numbers of irregular Nigerians Nigerians entering the European Union reduced last year, they still rank amongst the top 10 nationals staying there illegally. But to Ericsson said the European Union could make its visas more difficult for Nigerian applicants if the country failed to meet its standards. She noted that in 2016, an European Union Council decision authorized the opening of negotiations on readmission agreements with Nigeria. The agreement seeks to ensure that Nigerians traveling to Europe take only the legal route and that Nigeria is also able to readmit its citizens living there illegally. Batu Eriksson said the strict measure could be adapting rules on processing short stay visa applications so visiting visas is really what they are targeting what of course the americans targeted was migration visas so they are now tightening the news around essentially the nigerian nation but of course malam buhari so these people have seen enough from this guy and they say they don't want all this jab jab with behavior it carries on nigerian still placed amongst the top 10 nationalities detected as state irregularly on the EU territory, although the number of Nigerians entering the EU irregularly declined drastically last year. She was quoted as saying. So now let's just pause there for a moment. So if you look at this, of course, this is now these people are just trying to force themselves into that American uh, position and just align themselves there because the statistics don't marry up if you're saying you want to be more stringent if you want to be more stringent then then we would have to then uh, assume and presume that you have increasingly cause for concerns so if you uh, say you are wanting to uh, be more stringent because you do have increasingly more cause for concerns then that does not marry up with the fact that you've also now said that the number of Nigerians entering your country illegally has drastically reduced in the most immediate time period so the two don't marry up you are saying okay you are making improvements but we'll go harder what is the two marry ups if you are saying nigerians entering your country illegally or your territory not your country because of course the european uh, union is not a country it's a conglomerate of countries so if you are saying that the number of nigerians entering your conglomeration has reduced drastically in the immediate term then why then are you feeling then the need to be even more punitive and even more draconian in the measures that you take but then of course the americans announced it last uh, week or uh, the week or uh, the, the well, fairly recently and then you of course are now following that line so it tallies in then with that uh received wisdom that whenever america sneezes the european the european essentially and the rest of the world by extension catches a cold so this is an example that makes that point because these are just 
uh, a blanket aligning with an American position which has no uh, basis in reason and logic and especially has no basis in your own statistics which you have put out in the public space. You are saying that they are conforming but then you are going to punish them more for not conforming. There is no marry in the logic there because really there is no logic but we carry on. Nigerian criminal networks remain active in Europe and Nigerians remain the main non-European Union country of origin for victims of trafficking, mainly women, registered in the European Union. What the EU can do since new rules on short-stay visas to the EU became applicable on the 2nd of February 2020 is to adapt the rules on processing short stay visa applications depending on whether a non-EU country cooperates satisfactorily on the return and readmission of their nationals staying irregularly in the EU. Under the new rules, the EU Commission will regularly assess the level of cooperation of non-EU countries on the readmission of irregular migrants. If the level of cooperation is insufficient, the Commission together with the member states can decide on a temporary more restrictive implementation of certain provisions of visa codes. This could have an impact on the processing time, the length of validity of the visa to be issued, the level of the visa fee to be charged and the fee waivers. She, however, said the measure would not amount to a visa ban but only allow for a more restrictive implementation of some visa rules. It is important to note that this mechanism does not amount to a visa ban and does not call into question the right to submit an application for a visa or to be granted a visa, she was quoted to have said. It only allows for a more restrictive implementation of some of the visa rules. This concerns short-stay visas to the Schengen area, covering stays of up to 90 days in any 180-day period. In January, the United States imposed an immigrant visa ban on Nigeria as a result of the country's failure to comply with its established identity management and information sharing criteria. In a statement after the ban, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security DHS said the restriction became necessary due to America's inability to verify a traveler's identity and assess whether they pose a national security or public safety risk. So, as I said, whenever America sneezes, the rest of the world catches a cold, especially the European Union. So, this, of course, is not something that was ever in the horizon with the European Union. But as soon as the Americans take a position, the Europeans always follow suit. They always line up in queue behind whatever position America takes. We all know this, and this is again playing out now. So, they are now uh, fencing off Nigeria, especially so they are now fencing off Nigeria essentially from the western space so that now to travel anywhere outside of Nigeria, especially to a western country now, is now becoming increasingly more rigid. And this was never the case, of course, until we had this Malamis now in charge. And what they are seeing now with all these Fulani headsmen and uh, whatever it is that Malam Buhari is creating within the Nigerian space is something that has sent alarms to their senses to the point that they are now saying, okay, you just stay in your own uh, country because really we don't really need any, any of your palaver in our own space. It's effectively what all of these people are saying. So now, conversations in the comment section, Nigerians are now being forced to live in the and within the Nigerian space to cannibalize themselves. This is essentially 
what the rest of the world is saying because look out and watch out the middle east will take that position as well and asia will take that position as well and before you know it all the airports in nigeria will now be growing cobwebs and you'll be hearing cricket sounds because there'll be no activities anymore come tell me what your thoughts are about what this uh european union spokes lady has to say regarding nigeria in the comment section but before you do that click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray the bell button notifies you every time i drop a new video then come tell me what you are making of how the world is now shunning the nigerian state in the comment section so i'll leave you here carry this conversation on with you in the comment section but here i say peace